Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is my third time making this video, and the first time I could, couldn't figure out what to say. The second time, I felt as if it just wasn't good enough, you know? I, I felt like there was more that could be said there that I could show more emotion, express my feelings more towards this video. But anyway, basically what this video is, it's a public apology. Okay, um, this is my third time making the video. I have fucked up the first time and I just lost complete train of thought. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to say, how I wanted to say it. Second time, I, you know, uploaded it to YouTube and everything and I watched it and I felt as if it just wasn't good enough. It, it, it wasn't what I hoped it would be. So anyway, this is my third time, like I said, and I'll do my best this time, and it's the last time. After I finish this, I'm just uploading it, so check it out. <clears throat> okay, so the video is called Public Apology, because I fucked up a lot, and there's people that I need to... Apologize to people I care about, people I love, consider family, that I don't want to lose more than what I have. So anyway, the first people, the few people that I want to apologize to are um, some local friends of mine. I've uh, said some things that I shouldn't have said at a time that I was very angry and. I was just looking for someone to blame it all on. And anyway, we've known each other for years. I mean, each and every one of us have been friends for the longest time, you know, since I was in my young teenage years, and now I'm like 19. I feel old. But anyway, um, I want to say I'm sorry. You know, I mean, I didn't mean to say what I said. And it got, it got out of hand. I... I said things that shouldn't have been said, and things that were said back were just in defense, at least I hope so. And, you know, I want to do my best to fix what has went wrong. You know, I want to reconnect, I want to build our friendship back up again. It's just, I've lost so many people in my life, you know, and the people that I've lost a lot have meant to me, and I just can't stand losing anybody anymore, you know? My real friends are drifting more and more apart, and I'm scared, you know? I'm scared to be alone. I, I don't want to lose people I've known for years. You know, people I can see myself knowing when I'm like 30, 40, 50 something, you know, and still be the best of friends. And I basically just want to get it out there and, you know, like I said, apologize, and I've been apologizing, I'm sorry, you know, I, I regret saying what I said, and it will not happen again. And I hope you guys can forgive me, because this time around, I will be a better person, I, I'll do whatever it takes to keep you guys as friends. <clears throat> the second group of people that I want to apologize to locally is my family. I've lived with my grandparents since I was six months old. I mean, my dad left three months before I was born, my mom six months after I was born, and my grandparents are basically the only real mom and dad that I know, and at a certain age I just went all rebellious on them, you know, I I quit hanging out with them, I, I quit talking to them, you know, in a good manner, I started, you know, I grew my hair out long, I got piercings, I got a tattoo, I started smoking, and I mean, I've caused a lot of trouble in, in you know, my younger days, and 
I can't take any of that back. I mean, I've told my family I wish they would just die or, you know, that, oh, you know, when I move away, you know, or something like that, that I'll never come back, you know, they're dead to me, they're worthless, you know. And I'm sure a lot of people say things like this, and if not, you know, then I guess that makes me a bad person, but... I am sorry for everything I've ever said to my family. I want to reconnect with my grandparents. I want to build a connection with my mom. I want to fix the connection that's never been there with my dad. I mean, that could be a lost cause, but at least I want to try. Uh, let me see. Just, yeah, I mean, a lot of things have happened recently that's opened my eyes to a whole new world. For example, a recent video that I made, it's called Silence is Golden. It's a minute long, and it's in black and white, and it, it's like a, a mute video, you know? There's no music, there's no sounds, there's no volume, there's no voice, there's no nothing. It's just me sitting there in front of the camera for one minute, and I have like a ton of annotations through the entire video that's on there. And um, just basically telling people to relax, to sit back, at least take one minute out of their life and think about the things they've done, think about the things they want to do, think about their friends, their family, you know, just drop everything and sit back for one minute and just think, you know, and from then on out, hopefully, <coughs> hopefully their life will be different, you know, hopefully they'll see things in a better perspective. They'll view things more vividly. And I mean, I sat down and I watched the video myself and something just clicked in me and I was like, what have I done with my life, you know? I mean, I dropped out when I was 16. I I haven't been back to school. I mean, I had two jobs back last year and I quit one. I got fired from the other. Um, and I've basically sat on my ass and did absolutely nothing. I mean, I've got a car. I need the insurance paid by the 17th of this month or I lose it. I mean, I've got my permit. I don't know if I've said that. I, it's completely slipped my mind. I don't remember what I just said, but anyway, yeah. Um, just so much has happened, and it's basically fucked me up, you know? And I see everything completely different. I, I understand more. I know what I've done wrong, and I know what I want to fix, and I want to try to be a better person all around. I mean, I used to be, like, for example, Growing up as a kid, you know, I had this vision of me being, like, a great person, like, um, someone who never lied or cheated or, or, you know, done drugs or anything like that. I mean, hell, I drank a little bit and I've smoked before, and now I smoke cigarettes, and, you know, it's just like, I'm, I don't know, hell on earth, I guess, and, I mean... For example, another example, you know, I've been in many relationships, and I've been in and out of them constantly. <coughs> mm, sorry about that. And, you know, I fucked things up a lot. You know, I, I ended up cheating, I ended up lying, I, I've, I've screwed up so many things that I wish I could take back, but I can't. And just a lot has happened, like I've been saying. And I regret the stupid shit that I've done, and I want to try to fix everything, you know? I want to fix my friendships, I want to try to get a good job, I want to fix my family relationships, I, I want to, you know, start somewhere and just build my life up to the point to where I feel happy and content with the things that I've done. For uh, the, you know, I've, like I said, I dropped out of school at 16, and I'm trying to go back, you know, I want to get my GED, work my way up to my high school diploma, and, and then, you know, go into a field work with, like, go into something to do with like film you know like direct or act I want to 
be a photographer. Um, I want to learn how to play music better. I mean, I can't play music for shit. I mean, I can't even sing. You know, I want to work on those areas. I want to get out here and, you know, skateboard more. I want to do more for YouTube, you know, and actually start getting paid for being a partner. And there's this thing that I recently joined, it's called Prepaid Legal, and it's a long story, I'll do that for another video, but anyway, I want to work that more, you know, make money that way. I don't want to have to go to, like a, a like a, you know, 9 to 5 job and have to wake up at a certain hour, be there by a certain hour, do this and that, everything that the manager or the boss tells me to do, you know, I don't want to be somebody's bitch and have to live off a paycheck every two weeks that's basically basically on bills and you know like I said you know I, I'm working on being a better person and there's just a lot that's happened and a lot that I want to change and a lot that's changing daily I mean Hell, I've already started walking out of my bedroom, you know, and, like, when the kids get home from school, you know, my cousins, my sister, and I go out there and I hang out with them, I eat with them, I watch a movie, or I play around, you know, I interact with the family more, um, well, we haven't argued as much in the past month, so, I mean, that's good, so, I mean, I'm working to having no arguments, um, I've actually started playing with my dog more, because he's usually chained up outside, and he he hardly ever gets to run loose. And I've got two sugar gliders over there, you know. I'm, I'm working on, I guess, playing with them more? I don't know. <coughs> God damn. My third is killing me. Anyway. I recently came across this girl. Her name is Estelle. Uh, she lives in Australia. She's 18. And she's amazing. She's beautiful. She's smart. She's funny. Kind hearted, caring, loving. She's an all around amazingly perfect girl, you know? A lot of shit has happened to her in her life, and there's still shit going on, and we're there for each other, you know? We're dating, we're, we're talking about seeing each other over the summer, we're, you know, introduce each other to each other's family and friends, things like that. Um, since I've been with her, my life in general has changed, I mean... I wouldn't have normally made like a public apology or sit here and explain myself to the world. But since I've been with her, I've realized more, you know, and like I said, I want to try to be a better person, you know, and she's changed my life. I mean, I'm happy for a change. I mean, there's no arguing. We've had one serious argument, but we've sat down and we've talked it through. I mean, yeah, it's a long distance relationship. <coughs> Ah, uh, I gotta stop doing these videos for a while. Anyway. Uh, uh, I can't find the words I wanna see. Okay, so, yeah, I know it's a long distance relationship, and... Not everyone trusts those, you know? Because... I'm here, she's there. And we don't really know what we're doing, you know? We say we're doing something, but how do you? How can you believe said person if you don't really know? It's based on trust, loyalty, honesty, and everything from there builds to it. You know, when you meet, things will be so much better because you know that you're loyal, you're you're honest, you're you're actually open. You know, and I've not lied once. I've basically told my life story and the things that I'm, you know, telling you now. And she believes me. She she knows I sit here at the computer and don't do a damn thing. And she knows I'm working on trying to get everything better. I mean, she's a massage therapist and she works eight, nine hours a day. And she's 
I don't know. She's just got a lot on her that I'm trying to help her, you know. I'm trying to help her be herself. Someone that she's always wanted to be, like she's helping me. And it's just amazing how one person can do so much for you, you know. It's amazing how just a few minutes, a, a few seconds, a few hours of the day, you're talking to that person and it's like nothing else matters. And when the, that person's gone, you miss them like hell. It, it, it's weird, you know? Like, this is something that I thought I've had before, something that I, I've always wanted, you know? So I've always looked for it. And finally, it comes around without me expecting it. And I don't regret it, you know, for once. I, I am being me, and I'm loving every second of it. <coughs> and since I've been with her, like I said, I'm trying to fix my life. I'm, I'm out here, you know, working around the house more. Um, I'm driving more so I can get my lessons. And just, I don't know. Things have been fucked up. They really have. It's just a lot has really opened my eyes, you know? And I'm going to do my best to be able to hang out with you guys more, you know, my friends that are actually watching this video. You know, I want to, like I said, fix the connection that's, that we used to have and be able to hang out and go shoot pool or, or go bowling or just cruise through town, you know, listen to music, you know? I mean, you guys are in bands, and I fucking love your music. I, I enjoy just being there. I enjoy being, you know, the guy that has these friends that everyone looks up to because they're, you know, they play instruments and that they're well known through the town because it's a small town and everybody knows everybody and it's always the same people that show up to the concerts, which I think in a way it's okay. You know, it's cool because you have that same group-based friends. You know the fans that actually watch and listen to your music and cheer you on while you're on stage. And I mean, I envy you guys for that, you know? And in a way, yeah, I am jealous because I just sit around all the time and you guys are out here going to band practice every day, hanging out with your friends, you know, your other friends, and I just felt that I felt neglected, I felt worthless, I... I, you know, just wanted more attention because of the bad shit that was going on in my life. And I looked for it in all the wrong places. But now things have changed, and I just, I want to prove to everybody that I can be a better person. I want to do more with my life. I want to live my dreams for a change, you know? I'm going to start making more YouTube videos. I'm going to do, do photography more. I'm going to learn how to edit these videos more. You know, I want to understand how the world works, you know, and I'm starting to see how each and every person works, you know, how they react to the problems, their life, their situations, and then I look at my life and I try to better things by doing such, you know, as, like I said, paying attention to the others, so I'm trying to better my life by viewing how others live their life. And, you know, I want to fucking do this relationship with Estelle and be a better person, you know, I don't want to lie, I don't want to cheat, I don't want to, you know, feel like she's doing either or. I want this to actually work out for a change, you know? <clears throat> this one is the best relationship I've been in, hands down. And I can't wait to start making videos with her. I can't wait to start taking pictures. I can't wait to just show her off to the world, you know? I want to, I want people to see her and be able to see what I see in her. I want people to understand the way she makes me feel, the way I am because of her, you know? And I want to help her understand what I see in her as well. I want her to be able to look in the mirror and just see what I see. I want her to feel what I feel. Because I know she sees me as this amazing person, someone with a big heart, someone who 
who has big dreams, of course, you know, and, you know, I'm starting to see what she sees in me, and I just want her to see what I see in her. And, you know, of course, I'm going to work on my relationship with her. I'm going to work on my fa that my family and my friends' relationships, and I'm going to get me a job. I want to fucking get out there and just live my life the best I can. <clears throat> I want to just be me. And I want to, I want to be able to just live my life and be happy, you know, I don't want to have to regret any more things, I don't want to have to, you know, lie or cheat my way out of something, I don't want to, I just don't want to screw up anymore, and I, I'm sure I will, a lot, but as long as I have my, fa my family, my friends, you know, my loved ones, and, you know, things like that with me, through all the hard times, I know I can make it. And, you know, I can't express enough how sorry I am to everyone, to my dearest friends, to my long-distant friends, you know, I've had a lot of problems with them too, and I'm trying to fix that as well. And it's just, everyone that I know means so much to me, I just wish I could tell each and every one, but I can't. So I guess this is a way to be able to do so. And. I hope everyone can forgive me for all the wrong that I've done and just live every day like it's our last, you know? I want to be able to laugh, cry, have fun, you know, gossip, things like that, you know? And I want to do that with my friends and my family. And Like I said before, you know, I'm sorry for whatever I've done wrong. I take full responsibility. It's my fault. So you guys, you don't have to worry, okay? You all were just taking it for yourselves, just like my family. I mean, they'll they'll sit there and they'll say things they don't mean. And, I mean, that's what an argument is about. But after the argument is what matters the most. It matters if you can actually work things out or, you know, and become closer. Or just argue and walk away and that's that, you know? That person's never in your life again. Or family, for an example, you know, you argue with them, they kick you out, and, you know, they send you off to boarding school, to boot camp, or to prison, jail, whatever, and they want nothing to do with you, and they just cut you out of their life completely. And I'm tired of cutting people out of my life. I'm tired of having people cut me out of their life. So I want to be an all-around good person, you know? I want to change the bad shit in my life. I want to do great things with my life, you know? I want to be known in this world for who I am, you know? I don't want to have to be somebody I'm not just to please other people. And everyone I've ever known has, you know, affected me on many levels. And the past, I don't know how long it's been, I've understood a hell of a lot more. I, I realize things now, you know? And I just want to be able to fix things. I, I just hope, you know, I can do it with everyone that I know. I hope the connections are still there. I I hope we can forgive and forget and just live life as it comes, you know, and just be there for each other, you know, and enjoy each other's company and shit like that. But honestly, like I said, this is my third time making the video, and I tried to get out what I wanted to say, and you can tell I've been coughing, you know, drinking some fucking tea, because my throat's sore, and, you know, I just want to hurry up and end this video, but I want to get out what I need to get out before I end it, and I'm doing what I can, you know, and I'll probably make more videos talking about friendships and relationships and family and things like that, and... You know, I don't care if you guys unsubscribe or, or block me or diss me in comments, you know, that's for a whole nother video that, trust me, I will have out soon. But anyway, I'm going to get off here and drink some more tea, listen to music, and probably go to bed, eventually. But for now, you know, I'm a klutz. <laughs> for now, just, you know, think about what I've said. You know, hopefully you guys will still be my friends afterwards, and 
hopefully I'll still have viewers and more subscribers and things like that. But, you know, life is short, you know, live life the best you can, you know. And just enjoy each and every bit of your life. So, until the next video. Later.